All right, this video is about the attempted repair of my Kenwood stereo receiver model VR507. I was having two problems. Uh, first being the volume control was intermittent. Sometimes the receiver would respond, sometimes it wouldn't. And I thought perhaps there was a cold solder somewhere. But what I suspect at the moment is this remote sensor right here, which was really dusty, just wasn't getting the signal. So I wiped all the dust off of that. And so hopefully that'll be working really well. Uh, here's the, the guts of the receiver. But what I'm going after at the moment is the, well, the other problem was the volume when I turn the knob clockwise the volume numbers would instead of turning the volume up they turn it down when I try to turn the volume down sometimes it would turn the volume up or sometimes regardless of which way I turn the knob it would just go up 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 and it's all controlled through the software um, there is no potentiometer here for the volume control so, over here, I took apart the volume knob, I pried back these four little metal fingers, and then lifted up this section here and it uses an encoder, an electric encoder, to know if you're turning the knob clockwise or counterclockwise. It's got three little fingers in here that write on that encoder. One, two, and three and they're slightly different lengths so depending on what sequence they get a signal from each of these little contacts electrically it'll be like a one two three or a three two one and that'll know if you're wanting to turn the volume up or down and there's there's some kind of sticky grease in here to give this some weight so it doesn't just spin too easily. And I think that grease, well definitely that grease had migrated onto this wheel and therefore onto these little contacts. So I'm wiping off that grease to hopefully restore a nice original electrical contact. So this was kind of fun to take apart. If you decide you want to take yours apart, of course, just go after all the screws you can. Uh, the one thing that did cause me problem was the these multi-control knobs are held onto the front panel with little hex nuts. So I had to reach behind the knob with a paper clip, pull the knob off to get access to the hex nut under there. Of course, under the volume knob, it was really easy to get access because the knob was big, and I could just pull it off.